Quantum technologies are a massive opportunity for the Alliance. Knowing what the quantum technologies are and being able to deploy them very quickly and also to adapt to adversarial challenges from quantum technologies will be a source of competitive advantage for NATO as the Alliance and for all the Allies as well. Quantum technology is probably the most fundamental understanding we have of nature. Uh, it provides a sort of a base knowledge of, uh, of the most fundamental processes that we have in nature. It's the world of, of the microscopic world of, of atoms, uh, photons, ions and so forth. And it will give you a possibility to harness a, a force that is unimaginable. When people talk about quantum technology, they are putting under a single uh, heading quite a number of different technologies. Uh, quantum sensing, for example, quantum communications, and also quantum computing, which is probably the uh, area that people are most familiar with. And we will also have a plateau of new sensors that will be available that we can use. Some of these sensors have a different way of operating than the sensors that we have right now. What we have for sensors now is that we send something out and receive it again. That means people will know that we are looking for them. These sensors are so accurate, unprecedented accuracy. They will only measure the change in the field. That basically, people will not know that we are measuring that they are there. Quantum technology is important because besides the fact that uh, they allow for calculations, at least mathematically, allow for calculations that have never been done before, I believe that the green angle is very important. In the long run, we cannot keep scaling the compute that we use ad infinitum. We will not have enough energy in the world. And now with all this uh, AI and you know, GPU, use, you will start to see that this really, really consumes too much energy. And I think that finding more efficient and more powerful ways to compute with less resources is going to be crucial for the future evolution of humankind. To bring the power of quantum physics into anything practical, um, you need people with deep expertise in different areas. NATO needs scientists who are uh, capable of doing cutting-edge quantum technology research. And the NATO Science and Technology Organization is that organization that provides the scientific expertise. We have a network of over 5,000 scientists and engineers in NATO allies and in partner countries as well. It's the world's largest uh, scientific defense collaborative network and it provides the full range of science that NATO needs um, for its tasks. And it, that includes um, quantum experts as well. Quantum technology is uh, one of the uh, disruptive technologies for defense and security collaboration, such as this workshop, is what we need to accelerate. In five to ten years, we can expect to see some really practical applications of quantum technologies for, for sensing, for computing in areas like financial sector, and, and for understanding uh, all kinds of data. So, threats and opportunities, we need to be ready to capture these opportunities. We need to be right in them to design a uh, stronger, more resilient, and increase deterrence for our alliance. How do we do that? We have to join forces, leverage existing efforts, design roadmap, and that's exactly one of the objectives of this worship.